Hi all, welcome back. Today I've decided I'll do a different type of video. I'm going to give you 25 facts about myself, things that you wouldn't know if you're not my friend or related to me. Well, it's I had to tag myself basically. How oh, sad. Anyway, let's start. Number one. My first name is Gabrielle in French. It's spelled G-A-B-R-I-E-L-L-E -L -L -E, and, and I do insist on my double L E because I had it spelled all sorts. Number two, I hate when my nickname, well I'm Gabrielle, but they call me Gabby. I hate it when Gabby is spelled with I E at the end. G A B I E O M G. I just can't stand it. If you want to get under my skin, spell my name like that. I don't care if you spell, you spell it G A B B B Y G A B B H Y G A B I, but don't spell it G A B I E. Oh, we're not going to be friends anymore. Number three, I am over 40. Number four, I have been married for 18 years. Number five, I have three kids. Six, I have a son and two daughters. Seven, I used to wear glasses. Eight, I wore glasses for about 27 years of my life. A long time. Up to now, sometimes I forget and still take virtually taking my virtual glass uh, glasses off before going to bed number nine my prescription was minus 10 really high I couldn't do anything without my glasses and it was really difficult especially as a parent like activities like go swimming with the kids because I had to supervise them I had to have my glass my glasses all the time I couldn't cross a road without my glasses I always had to have a spare um, a spare glasses because if I break the one I'm wearing on a daily basis, it's disaster. It's disaster. Number 10, I had laser eye surgery. 11, I've been without glasses for about six years now. And it's a joy. And I'm so glad because when I had the surgery, um, before the surgery, they made me, the, the, the surgeon made me understand that be having such a high prescription I might go maybe down to minus three minus two not to you know to expect too much but even for me minus three minus four was a great improvement but I, I was so glad that I managed to have 2020 vision after that so praise God number 12 I have I'm originally from Congo Kinshasa DRC and I have a mix of of course Congolese, Portuguese and uh, Egyptian. Number 13, I have a weird, I don't know if I can call it power, superpower, uh, ability to isolate taste in my mouth. Basically I can drink any nasty drink, nasty thing, as long as the texture is not gooey or just yucky but the taste doesn't bother me because I can block the taste and everything will taste like will just be like water I don't know how I do it but I can manage to do that number 14 I have a photographic memory it's less and less now that I'm getting older because probably I need to train my brain but when I was much younger uh, it was very strong I just needed to look at something once and it be stuck in my head and uh, it made my life really easy, like at school. Also, when I'm studying, I, I have always have to have um, highlighters, plenty of colors in my book, because when I do a test, I can clearly see where the answer was in the book, which page, which which uh, paragraph. It's it's really really good, and I'm very good on those type of game. I don't know what, what they call call them sometimes they show you like a picture 
and uh, it's like all full of square but, but there's something actually written in there usually people struggle with that but I don't I, I manage usually to find what is written straight away or for example you see um, there's a picture let's say it's a tree and then they, they tell you find the baby there's a baby in that picture and you really have to look hard usually I get spot on uh what else number 15 yeah number 15 my ears are very sensitive to dates i don't know why but you just mention a date around me it will get stuck in my head even when i'm asleep you whisper a date because i had that experience done to me you whisper a date i'm fast asleep but my brain registered that especially with birthday birthdays are something that I never forget the date I never forget it could be a stranger but as long as you mention your date it gets stuck in my uh, in my uh, in my head so that's made my you know like subject like history at school was really easy for me because I could just I could remember the date just like that kids tell me that uh, number 16 I think I've already said that yeah history was uh, easy because uh, I could remember date easily number 17 I used to my hair my hair actually used to be kind of gingerish when I was little and I hated that I hated that with passion and I was wishing that it would change color and it did up to now my natural hair is not black but it's not gingerish anymore and I kind of regret it I wish I could do, I could go back to what I used to have but like for example my hairline has a totally different color to the rest of my hair it's quite light and sometimes usually when I go to um, under the Sun or even now I have area where you think I have no hair there's hair there but it's just so light that it doesn't match the rest number 18 I look like my dad yeah I'm a spitting image of him number 19 I'm petrified of mice I have a little story about you uh, about it which is a bit sad <laughs> we I think at that time my son was like four years old and my daughter was still a little baby um, it was during Christmas time my husband wasn't there and the bin man decide, decided to go on, on strike and um, we the garbage hasn't been collected for weeks I think over a month so obviously it created loads of problems and we end up with um, uh, loads of mice so I've put some trap around the house and uh, one day I was opening the cupboard and I saw a mouse there dead oh my god I swoop. I can't stand them and there was no one around just my son I had to get him I had <laughs> basically he saved my day yeah because I was so afraid he, he had to he wanted to make me feel good and well, he, I know I, I, the, the mouse for me. I I'm I'm not proud of that, but you just don't understand. Um, number twenty, I am very deepsy, very very deepsy. When you find things like a brush in the fridge, a pair of shoes in the fridge, remote control, I'm guilty. It's me. Number twenty one. Oh, actually, telling you about the. Um, deep sea thing when I was at, uh, at uni or college um, I was working and I was really getting frustrated with my my calculator it wasn't working properly I was really getting frustrated and my roommate just looked at me and went Gabby look what you're using I was using the TV remote control yes TV remote control and getting frustrated over the TV remote control not adding and doing what you're supposed to do that's all number 21 I am an, an, uh, a beauty therapist and uh, a lecturer number 22 
Prior to be a beauty therapist, I study economics. Number 23, the longest, the longest flight I ever been was nearly 24 hours straight. Whew, telling you, just open the windows. Let me get out of that, that plane. I was so fed up. I just wanted to, you know, be on dry land. 24 hours is long. And the worst thing is when I arrived at the destination, there were 11 hours behind. My day was messed up, messed up. Number 24, I am very shy. Yes, might not look like, but I'm, I'm a very shy person. Number 25, I am a proud follower of Jesus Christ and I'm not ashamed of it. I'm a Christian. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.